Hey everyone and welcome back. Um, <clears throat> this is part four of my game slut rant. All right. In part one, I covered the used games. In part two, I covered the employees. In part three, I covered the corporation. In part part four, I'm gonna cover the customers. Uh, do I have to? Do I have to continue this rant? Can't I just leave it as it is and spare myself the torture? Fine. Let's get it over with. I don't have much to say, but let's just get it over with. Oh my fucking god. I I hate, hate, hate the vast majority of the customers at GameStop. I mean, seriously. It's like GameStop employees just, just let them get away with whatever the fuck they want to, want to do. In fact, like like my employee rant, I, I have... A little story to tell on the customers, right? And actually, one of them, and actually, the one I'm going to tell you happened a few days ago when I was at GameStop. Alright, so, there was this woman there, kind of looking middle aged, and she was with her husband and two kids and holding a baby in her arms, okay? Now, wait, I'm not done yet. Now then, I was trying to shop, and her baby kept whining and whining and whining, fucking pissing me off. And the other shop, and the other shoppers off, and her two kids were running around, knocking stuff down, knocking stuff off the shelves, and she was just letting them do it. I mean, I know what you're probably thinking. That's what kids do and babies do. True, but it's their responsibility as a parent to stop it. And as for the baby, that's what fucking pacifiers are for. All right. <clears throat> and when I mention it to her, she. Th do a fucking shit fit about it, just like the irresponsible parent that I figured she was, telling me to shut the fuck up and whatnot. And it, and if the noise from the baby wasn't more annoying than me talking to her and whatnot, uh, and then her husband came over to me and started yelling at me, telling me to stop messing with his wife when I was doing no such thing. All right, and I was just t telling the god honest truth. Oh, but it, and as if it wasn't bad enough already, it gets better. Then, I went to explain it to the manager, and he went, and, you know, I honestly started to like him a little bit, because he honestly went over there to try to stop it, and when the, hu and then the husband yelled at him, and he just took off like a fucking pussy, another sign of a bad employee. I mean, sure, I did, but he's the fucking manager, it's his fucking job, to take care of things like that. I mean, hell, a lot of the customers left because of that, and I was so got so thankful when I finally got what I needed to buy and left. It's Jesus Christ. Talk about bad parenting, which of course in this situation means bad customers too. Plus, she didn't even want she didn't even get what she came for, probably for her kids, since they're probably too Stupid to play video games anyway, and anyways, until about tw 25 or so minutes in until they got there, they just sat around for a little while. Jesus fucking god. Well, that's one, no, two bad customers right there, and it's all because the employees basically let them get away with it. For fuck's sake, show some responsibility for being an employee and show some responsibility for being a parent, for Christ's sake. And I can get into a whole nother rant about that, but I'll, about bad parenting, but I'll save it for a future video. Well, and this is actually going to be a really short part because I didn't have much to say about employees because I don't go to GameStop much anymore anyways. Uh, I, and I had other stories, but... I had other bad experiences with employees too, but you know I kind of forgot what they were, anyways. All right. So, well, that pretty much concludes my game slut rant, most likely. All right. These four parts of it. So tune in next time for more videos of mine. So, see ya.